But first of all, um, we want to make a spiral with Scratch Cat. We just have to take. Well, first of all, Scratch Cat is kind of big. Um, like he gets to, he has to get smaller. He has to shrink a little bit. So why don't we just set the size to let's say like sixty? Good enough. Then we need the extension for a pen. Otherwise, how are we gonna draw our spiral? Now, uh, first of all, we want a repeat loop. Let's keep it 10 for now, and then we need motion blocks. We need some turn blocks and some move blocks. And a pen down block. Wait. There. So we can move 10 steps, turn 15 degrees, and we can set pen down. Um, we have to increase this actually. 50, because that didn't work. As you see, that only made a circle. We're just starting off here. Now, before we move on, we just want to go to zero, zero. So let's go zero and zero there. Now we'll always start at zero, zero. And we might also want to erase everything. Well, we can, so. Yep, that all works. Then we probably want to change our Y position by one. You can see that kind of, you know, does that. But if what um a radius actually, if you if I zoom in a little bit, you can see there are um like a little like you know sharp things, right? So oh no, oh no, uh, what have I done? Oh no, but. Okay, there we go. Um, so basically, we want this move to change by one. How in the world do we do that? Variable time. We'll do it. We'll name it radius. Radius here. Uh, place. You know, we'll do it for all place. Um, so first of all, we want to change radius by one. I want to set radius at the beginning after the go to zero zero radius to phi then we can move by radius and that gives us a spiral except it's kind of huge and way too fast way too fast a little bit yeah yeah and you also um, wanted to make it tiny Oh no, nope, I have to increase this, I forgot. I haven't worked with circles for, in a long time. That kind of makes a hexagular spiral. Or we could just down it off a little bit. Mr. Cat.